A joint services team from Plymouth is making history today as it heads to the Sahara. The Oasis expedition is the first to try and cross the desert in the searing heat of summer. As Charles Rose reports, the team will face daily temperatures of 130 degrees Fahrenheit. The expedition is the largest military venture into West Africa since 1975. It's also one of the most ambitious. The team of five officers from the Royal Naval Engineering College at Manadon, an army doctor, a TA nurse, two mechanics and a civilian left Plymouth today. Two film crew will also chronicle the 1,300-mile trip through open desert. It's taken two years for the team to plan and uh, get ready for this exercise and they've, they've raised £20,000 in sponsorship in so doing. It's the first time a team would have crossed the Sahara Desert in the summer using the Paris-Dakar rally route. And it would be extremely uh, difficult for them because the temperatures will be in excess of 130 degrees Fahrenheit during part of the trip. Having crossed the channel, the Oasis team heads for Paris, on through Spain, down to Marrakesh and to the Sahara Desert. There they plan to test equipment and carry out medical research. In many cases, they will act as their own guinea pigs. The doctor will be studying the the way the heat, extreme heat affects us because we're going to get upwards of 120 degrees. Nobody has done research to see how heat affects cholesterol level. So it could be that heat decreases this, we don't know. The team are due back in September when they hope they'll have got their names into the record books. Charles Rhodes in Plymouth for West Country Live.